better late than never, right? That's the thing. Maybe you're not as confused as Jackie Chan is in the thumbnail, but this video will hopefully help you distinguish between the iPhone 6 and the 6 Plus. There's more to it than just size, and I'll hopefully get down to the bottom of some of those differences and help you decide when you're looking to buy between the 6 or the 6 Plus. General rule of thumb is the more space the device has on the inside, naturally the more things that the maker can fit on the inside. That means better battery and a few other things that I'll get into. But the main difference I want to start off with is the camera. Now both these devices have the same 8 megapixel sensor on the back and they both have that annoying hump that doesn't let the device sit straight on a flat surface. And it looks the same, right? The main difference is that the 6 Plus has what's known as OIS, or Optical Image Stabilization, which basically means that the camera sensor itself moves within the housing to compensate for your hand movements. So this basically means that the image quality will be much better in low light performance, and even in videos you'll have a lot more compensation from the camera. Here you can see 100% visual of how there's no noise in this image taken by the 6 Plus and next to no light. Resolution is another thing that's different in the two devices. Now we know that the 6 Plus has a high resolution, it's roughly 1080p, and the 6 has a resolution of close to 720p, where this shows up is in watching videos on YouTube, for example. On the 6 Plus, you have a 1080p option, and on the 6, you don't go higher than 720p. I guess Apple figures if you can't see more than that on the screen, then why even have a 1080p option? I guess it kind of makes sense. Where this kind of shows up is in playing games or watching movies. Uh, you'll find that the screen size also lends to being a little bit more of an immersive experience, but I found that the image quality was a little bit cleaner and the text a little bit sharper on the 6 plus but maybe that's just in my head because i'm expecting to see that if the game is in portrait or in landscape mode you'll have a lot more fun playing it or viewing it because it simply lets you get more involved it's just larger and bigger is always better including the battery so the 6 plus has a larger battery than the 6 and on the 6 plus i last about a full day and a half almost depending on how much i have bluetooth on generally speaking if you have a 6 and you or buy a laptop or you have a portable charger, you'll make it through a day for the most part. But with the 6 Plus, you'll make it through a day without any issues unless you have, you know, syncing on for Bluetooth and, you know, different antennas on, LTE, so on and so forth. And those will all change. And another thing that nobody talks about with the 6 and 6 Plus is the speaker quality. I found that the 6 has a tinier sounding speaker compared to the 6 Plus, which sounds a lot more like the iPad. If anybody's ever heard the iPad Air or the iPad Air 2, you'll agree that it's a little bit richer sound. Between the two, the 6 Plus definitely sounds better. Now grab your headphones, I'm going to stop talking for a second, and hopefully you can see what I mean. Some places you'll feel it more than others. So, for example, if you go to the gym, yeah, I go to the gym, shut up. If you can get this monstrosity into your pocket, which is a mission and a half on its own in gym shorts, and, I mean, that outline is huge. If you're on something like a treadmill, or in this case, the elliptical, you'll be able to see that distinct, distinct outline in your pocket. And keep jiggling around, because the phone is also pretty heavy. I find myself digging out my old iPod Nano and just keeping the BlackBerry on the actual device itself or leaving it in the locker. Despite all these other features that I mentioned, there's one you can't overlook. It's the ergonomics. Inherently, the 6 is a little bit smaller, so as agreed by most people, it's a perfect size. 4.7 inches is comfortable. The 6 Plus is a little bit bigger. Granted that I have massive hands, so I don't see too much of an issue, but I wouldn't put a case on it. It just makes it too bulky then. Speaking of no cases, I really advise putting a skin on your 6 Plus to give it that additional grip to make it easier to handle. Definitely a lifesaver. Anyways, that's been the video, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick look at the differences between the 6 and the 6 Plus. Make sure you check out my other videos on the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one.